Today's video brought to you by Plate 24. Felling has begun. Lyman Run, Potter County. What's up everybody? All right, so for my short time in the woods, I've noticed that there are certain things you can do and can't do with certain species of hardwoods and softwoods that are found in my area when it comes to hand cutting. So in this video series, I'm gonna share with you some of the tips and tricks that I was either taught, learned from trial by error, or watched on other videos and picked up on in my style of hand cutting. So hopefully you guys enjoy these videos and if you follow along throughout the whole series, maybe there's a little something you can use or maybe not. It's up to you guys. So I hope you all enjoy and stay tuned for many more videos to come. Thank you. All right, looky, looky. Do you know what time it is? It is tips and tricks time. Today's species, oh yeah, the shag bark hickory. Or you could do smooth bark hickory, better known as pig nut. Either or. I have a love-hate relationship with hickory. Um, I hate it because uh, it's very, very stringy. It, uh, oh man, you really gotta stick with it and dang, dang near cut your uh, hinge off. OFF off, yeah. So uh, it doesn't pull fiber or like open up. Um, they will barber chair really easily and partially because as the tree comes down and the hinge closes up, the fibers don't break. They're just like rubber and they hold on. Therefore, the butt end of the tree will start to open up. So the sapwood, it's good to, it's good to cut the sapwood just so you don't get big stringers pulling down. But um, it's more important if you can, you know, punch the heart out, bore out the center of the hinge. You know, just leave your posts on each side. Uh, if the trees aren't big enough, you don't have to cut the sapwood. After all, it's just hickory. It's usually never super high dollar. I mean, certain ones are. This won't be one. But, uh, so I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll knock my hinge in here. We might have to use a little bit of wedge assist to get it to go that way. I'm not sure yet. Um, you want to square the teeth up on your saw a little bit. If you're going to be cutting hickory all day, you'll notice that it'll cut a lot better that way. If you have a real steep... Uh, steep tooth. Now I'm kind of the middle of the road right now because I'm cutting a little bit of everything. Um, if I was cutting hickory all day, I would be, I'd, I'd square them up. So if you're looking at this tooth here, I would square that tooth up. Not completely square, but you know, definitely. I don't know the angle, but if you look on here, you can tell when I say middle of the road, middle of the road for the angle is whatever the factory angle is, which is that line right there. So that's where I gauge, you know, more steep, less steep. So we'll go more square on the harder wood like this. So let's get this one opened up and get it on the ground and see what she does. Ground's nice and soft so I can push the stick in real easy. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
that was a pretty good example of how to do it. Um, I got a little crooked on my hinge, well, my back cut. I was on this hill, so you're a little off. But that's okay to leave yourself a big tooth in the back to keep them from kicking back at you. But you see how I stuck with it and I basically cut this side off. And this side broke very nicely. It didn't peel at all. I'm very, very surprised. So, uh, now, I said I gave you the hate points of it. <laughs> the love points of hickory is that fiber holds really good. So if you're trying to like swing a tree or walk a tree around on itself, hickory's great because you could just leave a little bit of fiber and keep tickling it and tickling it and that tree will come right around uh, with some help of wedges or whatever. For push trees, you could leave a little hinge. You, got, you know, they're a little safer than like oaks. You don't have to worry about them breaking off before you get to them with a machine to push them or pull them. Um, other than that, got to be careful limbing them because the limbs will get real loaded lots of pressure and they might not look at it no they'll, they'll explode pretty good on you i've had some sticky situations out there topping so be careful um all else fails the advice i can give you about topping hickory is if you have any doubts start out at the very end and cut it in little pieces and work your way back to where you want to buck it off it takes longer but you'll go home and if you're really wigged out about it grab a hold of it with a machine and pull it out of where it's at and try to relieve some of that stress even if you got to pull almost you know halfway to the landing that's still better than breaking a leg or getting hurt or something like that so um all right we'll find another one here and i'll do i think i got another one down here we'll do another little video all right we're back guys another hickory look at that i got a selfie stick but it was like forest made okay so we got a hickory here. We're doing right away. You see there's pink there and then there's pink right there. This is a right away for uh, some old gas wells that are in the back. Uh, there's a development going over there and this guy still needs to get through stuff. So this hickory wants to go hard right down through there. And I am allowed to throw stuff out of the right away, but obviously you want to try to keep you know everything in the middle you know so all the mess stays in the middle and um that way they ain't got to go fetch it outside the, the limits so uh we got a little bit of dead right there and it's also leaning towards this stream i want to swing it i got forward lean so i want to swing it right up across the right away that way we'll see if we can get it as long as there's no rot down in here i'm fairly confident that i'll get that once again, this is an educated guess on unproven data. So work with me. Let's, uh, I'm gonna put you back here. Uh, okay, we'll turn the camera. All right, let's see how it works. I will not be punching the heart on this one. I somehow managed to shut the camera off right as I grabbed it. Um, but I just wanted to show you there. You see that cut how I started on the bad side of the tree and just walked it right around nice and slow, watching to make sure the tree wasn't opening up. Once it got going, I stuck with it and I might have cut it off the hinge, started taking the hinge smaller a little sooner than I should, 
but if you look at my face cut that's pretty much where it was headed so I only lost it by about two feet three feet out at the very end out there um, kept it in the right away uh, worked out good so the takeaways of hickory you gotta watch it's very stringy holds on very well um, I like it for a situation like this we were lucky enough to have this and um, I dislike it because a lot of times the butts of the trees open up on you and the, the limbs are really crummy to to cut and things like that so but uh, alrighty once again this is just how I do it it's not and you know you don't have to do it this way um, some hickory acts different in certain places uh, or some trees do for that matter and it this is dependent on the seasons also so uh, take away from it what you want develop your own style if you're a cutter or something and then uh, go on for there so but uh, yeah I think that's all I got so stay safe don't lick any doorknobs and I think we'll all be good so all right everybody take care